Hi, this is Terry Vanoy, and welcome into my online classroom. This is Math with Mr. V. I want you to remember that while you watch these videos, these lesson videos, I am going to talk you through the concepts and then present a problem for you to try. So grab a piece of paper and you can pause, rewind, even fast forward anytime you'd like. So good luck. Let me know how it goes. All right, let's do an exercise where we have to know the central angles and the um, intercepted angles. If you take a look at our diagram, we have circle O. And question number one, name the intercepted arc for angle GTR. Now, if you look at angle GTR, that's this one right here. And notice how that's an inscribed angle for this arc right here. Now, I know it has three letters in that arc, but it's a minor arc. It does not go more than halfway around the circle. So our answer is GR. Number two. If angle GTR is 62, find the measure of GR. As we discussed in the previous video, the inscribed angle is always half as long as the measure of the arc. So if the angle is 62, the arc has to be twice as much. So arc GR must be 124 degrees. Find the measure of angle MEG. MEG is this angle right here. Uh, we have another inscribed angle where E is the vertex. If I look on the other side of the circle, I have an arc that goes from G through T all the way to M. That's the intercepted arc of the inscribed angle. So I need to try to figure out what that is. Well, I noticed that G and M, which are the endpoints of my arc, make a semicircle. So that is going to be 180 degrees. The arc measure of any semicircle is always 180 degrees. Number four, if angle GTR is 62, so let's mark that angle again, 62, inscribed angle, find the measure of arc GTR. Well, from the previous problem, we talked about how arc GR has to be 124. So the entire circle is 360 degrees, but we're going to take away 124 degrees from arc GR, and that will give us our answer. Two hundred and thirty six degrees. That's the rest of the circle. Now let's name an inscribed angle. Well, we already have one we've been working with. And that would be angle GTR. Any inscribed angle is an angle where the vertex is on the circle itself. So we have another one here. Let's call it TGM. And from the same vertex of G, we can talk about MGE. Notice how there would be a lot of inscribed angles. Let me mark a few in a different color and you'll see. If the vertex is E, we have this inscribed angle. And we also have this inscribed angle. The same goes for vertex R and vertex M. There are a lot of inscribed angles. All right. How did you do? Hopefully you understood the concepts. Um, remember that um, if you want a related video or a concept that's similar and or just extra practice, email me and let me know. I can record a new one for you and we can customize it. Once again, this is Terry Vanoy in my online classroom with Math with Mr. V.